Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today I wanted to quickly discuss six clinically proven herbal alternatives to blood pressure drugs. Now, when it comes to reducing your blood pressure, I consider diet, exercise, nutritional supplements, and stress reduction as the primary forms of treatment because they produce safe, long-term results. However, blood pressure drugs can and should be used if your blood pressure is dangerously high and you need to get immediate results or when lifestyle modifications and supplements have failed to reduce your blood pressure enough. Unfortunately, as I'm sure you already know, blood pressure drugs cause lots of negative side effects, such as depression and anxiety, impotence, uh, fatigue, kidney and liver failure, anemia, uh, colon problems, negative changes in your blood sugar levels, skin problems and hair loss, and so on and so forth. So today I wanted to discuss the four different types of blood pressure drugs and then natural alternatives to each of them. So let's start with ACE inhibitors. Now, they suppress a powerful enzyme that causes your arterial walls to constrict and cause high blood pressure. Now, this keeps the arterial walls relaxed, reducing blood pressure and decreasing the work that your heart has to do. Now, natural alternatives are French maritime bark extract and one of my favorites, which is celery seed extract, at 300 milligrams daily, which has multiple clinical studies backing it up. Next, we have beta blockers. Now, these work by blocking the beta limb of the autonomic nervous system, which is responsible for raising alertness, your heart rate, and blood pressure in those, you know, fight or flight situations. Now, beta blockers blunt the physiological response to stress, reducing high blood pressure. Now, there's two natural solutions that are clinically proven to lower blood pressure and work similarly to beta blockers. The first is an amino acid called L-arginine and a more potent version being arginine alpha-ketoglutarate. The second is an amazing herb called English hawthorn berry extract, which has over half a dozen human clinical studies proving blood pressure lowering results at 900 milligrams daily. Next, we have calcium channel blockers. Now, similar to beta blockers, they improve blood flow and vascular tone through narrowed vessels. Now, some calcium channel blockers reduce blood pressure by encouraging smooth muscle relaxation in the inner lining of your blood vessels, preventing spasms and helping them dilate. Now, one of the most important vitamins you should be taking daily is magnesium. Now, one of its benefits is that it works as a calcium channel blocker. However, there's lots of different forms of magnesium and each does have its various benefits depending on your health goals. Now, when it comes to lowering blood pressure, a patented form of magnesium glycinate chelate, um, dimagnesium malate, citrate, and oxide, which is highly absorbable and has been clinically shown to lower blood pressure. And also one of my favorite nutrients that I mentioned earlier is celery seed extract at 300 milligrams daily also acts as a safe calcium channel blocker. And finally, we have diuretics. Now these reduce edema and water retention in your body and, and lungs by increasing urine output and the end result is lower blood pressure. Now an increase in your stress hormone, cortisol, causes fluid buildup as does most commercial foods due to the high levels of white table salt. Basically, you need to eliminate or reduce the regular table salt, and at the very least, use natural salts instead, such as Himalayan and Celtic. Now, these salts don't raise your blood pressure because they contain higher levels of key minerals, such as magnesium, calcium, and one of my favorite diuretics, potassium. In fact, if you end up having a salty meal, just add you know a couple hundred milligrams of potassium to balance out the sodium. Um, it'll have a natural diuretic effect and also reduce any increase in blood pressure. So in summary, you know, I've stated before that at least 98% of people do not need drugs, certainly not for long-term usage. So today you discovered six clinically proven natural supplements that act as natural alternatives to the four different blood pressure drugs. However, there are other factors to having healthy blood pressure, such as healthy blood flow and circulation, better blood vessel strength and elasticity, antioxidant protection, also proper management of stress hormones. Now, because of this, I've listed two additional resources uh, for you to take a look below in the description area. Uh, the first being an exact list of specific herbs, vitamins, minerals, and nutrients you should be taking daily to have healthy blood pressure levels, including the correct dosages, forms, and explanations of each, along with the clinical references. 
And secondly, the exact formula that my dad uses to lower his blood pressure by 23% in just a few days naturally. Uh, no change in diet or exercise. So make sure you take a look at both of those links. Um, that's it for today. You know, I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel because I got some really cool exclusive videos coming out soon. If you found it helpful, please share the health with others so that they can benefit as well. Also do me a favor and please leave your questions and comments below. And finally, and most importantly, do yourself a big favor and make sure you visit the links in the description area below about lowering your blood pressure naturally without drugs. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.